Singapore Math helped teachers understand their role as a teacher. It helped them improve their content knowledge by looking at the textbooks, they understand the mathematics they teach, they understand the methods they should use to teach. Part 3. Addition of whole numbers within 20. You learned how to add numbers within 10. This time, we'll be learning how to add whole numbers within 20. At the end of this lesson, you will learn to make 10 to add two one-digit numbers and regroup into a 10 and 1s to add a one-digit number and a two-digit number. So, how do we add 7 and 6? We can make 10 to add the two numbers. Let's take 7 of these units and 3 of these to make a group of 10. How many are left? That's right! 7 plus 6 is equal to 10 plus 3, which is equal to 13. 7 plus 6 is equal to 13. We can also use number bonds to help us out. 6 as a whole can be represented by two parts, 3 and 3. 7 and 3 can make 10, so we're left with 3. From this process, we can see that 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. Let's try another example. 9 plus 7 is equal to... We need to know how many more units we need to complete a group of 10. That's right, just 1. So if we combine the units to make 10, how many are left? There are 6 units left. So 9 plus 7 is equal to 10 plus 6. What's the answer? 9 plus 7 is equal to 16. How will it look like as a number bond? 7 can be represented by two parts. 1 and 6. 9 and 1 make 10, and we'll have 6 as the remaining number. 9 plus 7 is equal to 10 plus 6, which is 16. 9 plus 7 is equal to 16. Another way of adding is regrouping. Take a look at this addition sentence. 12 plus 6 is equal to how many? To represent the numbers, we have 12 units and 6 units. We need to regroup the larger number so that we have only 10 units. Now we have two groups, 10 units and 8 units. 12 plus 6 is equal to 10 plus 8. 10 plus 8 is equal to 18. So 12 plus 6 is equal to 18. By using number bonds, we can show the same. 12 can be shown in two parts, 10 and 2. If we combine 2 and 6, we get 8. So 12 plus 6 is equal to 10 plus 8. 10 plus 8 is equal to 18. And so, 12 plus 6 equals 18. Did you get it? Let's try another example. 2 plus 15 is equal to how many? Remember, we need to regroup the bigger number to make 10. How many units are left? There are 7 units. So 2 plus 15 is equal to 17. As a number bond, we show 15 as two parts, 5 and 10. Regroup 5 and 10 to form 7, and we can show that 2 plus 15 is equal to 7 plus 10, which is equal to 17. So 2 plus 15 is equal to 17. 
Can you try this on your own? What is 14 plus 3? Use number bonds to show your answer. 14 plus 3 is equal to 10 plus 7. 10 plus 7 is equal to 17. So 14 plus 3 is equal to 17. Let's do it again. What is 11 plus 4? Did you get 15? That's great! Congratulations! Now you know how to make 10 to add two numbers and how to regroup into a 10 and 1s to add two numbers.